When Steel Talks, everybody listens. So we're here at AES 2018 at the Jacob Javits Center, and we're talking with Mr. Matthew McGuinn, who is the manufacturer and owner of Brazil Pro Audio, talking to him about his three key mics, and he's uh, explaining to us essentially what would be the best out of the three for the speed pad, and you were focusing on this one. Why you? Why why should I want this? I mean, you know, what makes you different? What makes you so special? Why must I leave with this? Um, well, in my opinion, because they're unique and they give you something that nobody else does, probably at a lower cost than most other uh, companies do as well. So I'll give you a couple quick examples. Do you have a time limit on your recording there? So, um, so, the, so the first mic we made is one called the Mini K47. And it was the first microphone on the market with a, with a true K47 capsule that was under about $1,000. And this one streets for $299. So the K47 capsule is unique because it was, uh, the capsule we used was designed, modeled after the one in the U47, which as you know is you know, arguably the most famous microphone ever made. So we're not cloning the U47, that's, you know, usually BS. That capsule and we made it into modern electronics. And the reason we did that is because this capsule has a particular and unique sound that you really can't get with any other design. And, uh, and condenser microphones typically sound mostly like the capsule. That's just the way these things work. So by making a microphone with this capsule, it gives you a unique sounding microphone. And the electronics that we use give you uh, really high output and very low noise, which plays very well with inexpensive uh, preamps. So you don't need a $5,000 preamp to get a good sound out of any of these. You can use a $99 Mackie USB interface. Plug that into your computer, plug the mic in to that, and it sounds great. This mic has proved to be incredibly versatile. Um, we have people using them on everything from we have one guy who says it's a secret weapon on acoustic guitar, another guy who's a lap steel player who heard one in a, in a studio and called me that day and said I want to become a dealer. Uh, we've got uh, Ross Hogarth, who's a Grammy-winning engineer producer, who uh, uses these as his go-to drum room mics. I have a couple of guys uh, who have access to every mic in the world, but this is in their piano because this sounds better, despite the fact that it sells for $2.99. We also sell that in a matched pair where you get two very, very closely matched microphones in a small stereo case with shock mounts. The next one is the Delphos. Uh, this one sells for $8.99. And um, the sonic idea there is kind of like think of a U67, but a solid state version of that. So it's not a tube mic, not pretending to be a tube mic, but it has some of that same very wide band, very flat, rich frequency response. And this has become a favorite on vocals. We have a number of Grammy-winning engineer producers in Miami in the Latin scene uh, who love this microphone on vocals, in part because any modern pop or hip-hop vocal is going to get processed pretty heavily. A lot of compression, a lot of EQ, all kinds of plugins. Uh, and so this microphone stands up to all that. It's not to say it needs all of that, it also sounds great right out of the box. But if you are working on a production that requires that sort of treatment, this mic still sounds good at the end of all of that process. And, uh, and that's hand built in my shop in California. It sells for $8.99. And the new one is called the Kolaris. And this is kind of like a, a FET version of a 251. So the Telefunken 251 is maybe the most famous female vocal mic of all time. It has a particular sound. It's known to be very airy and very rich. Um, and it is a tube mic, which this is not. What we did was we took the thing that we liked about the tube circuit, which is second harmonics. That's the kind of harmonics that make a microphone sound rich and vintage, since often the word associated with that. And we designed a circuit that, that manufactures second harmonics. So, uh, so much so, we made this so rich with second harmonics that we gave you an out in case when you try it out it's too much. So you engage the pad switch. Like any pad switch, it'll take the level down 10 decibels, but it takes the second harmonics down even farther than that. And then you apply 10 dB of makeup gain in your preamp, and you end up with a uh, more like a second sound altogether. It's almost like a saturation control. So you get two sounds out of one microphone. 
So this is also hand built in my shop. We introduced this about two weeks ago, and the street price is $12.59. My specialty and I guess focus these days is on steel drums. Uh -huh. The steel pan. How these in terms of that has a lot of harmonics and flying over it. Yeah. It, it can be harsh. Right. Cussive. How right. would these treat or which one would you recommend? Um I would say I would start with this. And the reason I would start with this is this is this is the most neutrally voiced of all of them. Microphones that have their own color. Sometimes, if that color complements your source, it's magic. And if it does, if it clashes, then it just sounds too boxy or too muddy or too midi or something. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I would start with this because it is the most neutral. Um, this is very, very. I mean, they're all very detailed, but I think this one has the right amount of low frequency. It doesn't have too much uh, high frequency either, which you'd want to avoid because you don't want just the mallet on the metal. You want the tone of the pan, and I think this would do that for you. Yeah, this one might work as well, but on some of your pans, you might find that this one's a little bit too pingy because some of your pans, some of your higher pitched ones, are going to be resonating right around 4K, which is where this one tends to bloom. And so this one might get you in trouble in like certain notes, certain zones. Whereas this one, I think top to bottom, it's going to work great. What do you know about steam pans? What do I know about steam pans? You're, you're obviously familiar with them. Yeah. When I was uh, six, I saw the U.S. Navy steel drum band in a parade and fell in love with the instrument. I don't play, but I've... So you're familiar. Okay. Yeah. How long has your company been around? What got you started? Just a nutshell and... Sure. So I started uh, publishing about microphones with a website called Recording Hacks, and that was about 10 years ago. And after that, I started modifying other people's microphones. And I made a company that sells upgrade parts. So the idea is you buy an inexpensive microphone, and then you replace the capsule and or the circuit and things like that. So microphoneparts.com is that company, and that's probably been seven years ago. And then Roswell is probably about four years ago. So all three. California. California.